Hello Summoners, welcome back to another damage comparison video. This one is going to be between pre-buff massacre and post-buff massacre. Now this is going to be a pretty good way to understand these changes because uh, most of it was damage related, the duration and stuff got increased but on paper you can't really tell uh, but now that you can see them side by side you're going to see that it is actually a pretty big difference and it's a pretty good buff. So as you can see like we got the bag ignited, bat ignited and it didn't even take that much effort like we just played normally. And previously you kind of wanted to hit a lot on the opponent's block or you were just very much relying on the crit RNG because if you crit then you gain a charge or you can hit in the block and gain a charge or if you hit in an incinerated opponent then you also gain a charge but the thing is like when a fight starts the opponent is not already under an incinerate so that's kind of annoying but as you can see like Massacre after his buff has a huge huge lead uh, he's almost halfway done, uh, like it's a pretty big difference and you're going to see like also by the way my gameplay has improved with Massacre because when I, I recorded the pre-buff gameplay anyhow it worked but hadn't played with him that much but after that like I've watched a lot of videos and I've played, him, uh, played with him a little bit more so I am kind of better with him and I use a lot of SP2s here in the second one like on the block and that is why and that is what you want to do for massive damage like that sp2 is so hard now i have a question for you guys because i am a little bit late to the party so you probably already understand how these buffs work so i'm not sure if you guys want me to do this for other characters because i did record the pre-buff gameplay for everyone but the reason i am late is because the ccp beta for me was not working and then huge shout out to kabam tell for sorting it out in two days but um uh yeah now that it is working i can take these characters up because like the pre-buff when i recorded them i did it at rank 5 5 star rank 2 6 star and then of course i don't have them all ranked up in the live server i did take up angela though but uh yeah so let me know if you want to see this for other characters also i heard that hood is getting his hex seal thing back on the sp2 which is huge great news and it's just really nice the communication we have going right now between kabam and the community uh, but anyways coming back to this video as you can see post buff massacre won by a pretty decent margin like it is a good buff for sure and uh, I'm sure like uh, in the future I am going to be using him in labyrinth against a lot of other skill characters really know if you want to see against someone in particular but just from this video like uh, by the way we don't have any synergies on this uh, in this clips uh, in both these clips and we don't have uh, like suicide masteries or any kind of boost this is just like a base 565 character so once like with synergies in labyrinth of legends i think he can beat most skill characters and his damage output is, it always was really really good and now it's just much easier to maintain and uh, yeah he's a pretty good character in my opinion now so that is going to do it for this one thanks for watching have a nice day subscribe to the channel for more content we're super close to 4k and like this video share with the alliance and stay safe bye bye have a good one